Okay then gang, so currently whenever we write some TypeScript and we want to run the code, we have to manually run the TypeScript compiler command in the terminal to compile that to a JavaScript file first of all. Then we have to run that file manually by typing node and then the file name and hitting enter. And this is okay once or twice, but when we're constantly having to manually run both of those commands, it can get a little bit tedious. So we're going to make it now so that we don't have to keep running both of those commands by using a combination of configuring a tsconfig file and using the watch flag. Now a tsconfig file is basically just a huge ass JSON file with a bunch of different options for the TypeScript compiler that we can configure. So we can generate a new tsconfig file by opening up a terminal, making sure you're in the correct directory first of all, and then typing tsc and then double dash init. So this is going to make up a new tsconfig.json file for us and dump it in the root of the project directory. Now then, if we take a look inside that file, we're going to see a long list of different compiler options, all commented out to begin with, but we can uncomment whichever options we want and customize them. So the options I'm looking for are the root directory and the output directory. And those two options allow us to specify which folder the compiler should look in for any source TypeScript files we want to compile, and then which folder to output the compiled JavaScript code into. So if you look for the root directory option, first of all, and uncomment that, we can put in a path to the root folder we want to place all of our TypeScript source files inside of that ultimately need compiling. So in my case, I'm going to say dot forward slash source. And that means look inside a source folder for any TypeScript files when we run the compiler and compile them. Next up, we want to look for the output directory option and we want to uncomment that. And this time we're going to set the value to be dot forward slash dist. And that just stands for distribution. Now, the compiler is going to output all the compiled JavaScript files now inside this dist folder. You don't have to use source and dist, by the way. You can call the folders whatever you want, but this is just a fairly common naming convention. All right, cool. So that's the first step done. Now let's try putting a TypeScript file inside a source folder and then run the compiler. So then let me first delete this index.js file. And then I'm also going to create a new folder called dist because this is where the TypeScript compiler is going to output the JavaScript file inside this folder. Then we can open up a terminal. I'm going to clear this and then I will say TSC. Now this time we don't need to specify any kind of path or file name because we already said inside tsconfig the root directory. So it's going to look inside this directory, take any TypeScript files and it's going to compile them and then output them inside this dist folder, the compiled JavaScript. So let's run this command TSC. And then hopefully we shall see, yep, we do this index.js file right here. So that's worked. Now this is good. However, we still have to manually type out TSC every time we want to recompile the TypeScript. So if we make a change like this, then I will need to rerun TSC to see the update over here. And I'd like to make that a little bit more automated. So to do that, we can use the watch flag. So I could say TSC and then double dash watch and press enter. And now this is going to keep on running in the background and it's going to watch our source TypeScript files. And every time we make a change and then save a file, it's going to rerun the compiler and re output the index.js file for us over here. And we can see that change has taken place. Awesome. So again, I can just make more changes, press save. It's going to recompile the code automatically. And we can see that change in the output code over here. Awesome. Okay, so now we've sorted the whole compilation step out and we don't need to keep running commands to compile our code, but we still have to keep manually running the node command to run the file and see any output in the terminal. I'd like it to be that we have a similar watch command where node watches a file and when that file changes, node reruns the file automatically. So for example, we could tell node to watch a JavaScript file inside the dist folder right here. Then when we change our TypeScript file and save it, the TypeScript compiler is now watching that automatically compiles our code and spits out an updated version of the JavaScript file in the dist folder. And since node is watching that file and it changes, it reruns the file automatically. So then the whole process is more automatic, really. We don't have to keep running commands manually. Now, to use the watch flag with node, you need at least version 18.11 of node.js installed on your computer. So to check your version of node, just open any terminal and you want to type node and then a space, then hyphen V and press enter. 
If you've got a version before 18.11, then just head to the Node.js website to download and install the latest version first of all. All right, so to watch a file, we can say node and then double dash watch and then a path to the file which is inside the disk folder and then it's going to be the index.js file and then we can just hit enter. And now node is gonna watch that file for any changes and rerun it whenever there is one. All right, let's try it out then. Okay, so let me go to the index.ts file again and I'm just gonna change this to hello ninjas with a lot of exclamation marks. Press save. Now watch down here, it's gonna automatically rerun when it detects the change. And remember, it detects the change because we're recompiling this file into this every time we save a change over here. So save it and watch down here. And you can see restarting and it says, hello ninjas. So that's pretty cool. We've got a nice workflow now where we don't have to keep running commands. We can just make our changes and preview the output of those changes down here in the terminal. Awesome.